Hi, I'm Robin Ng, a WIC nutritionist. Nutrition labels can be confusing, so today I'm going to break down a few important details about reading a nutrition label. Now, I've picked a couple staple foods that WIC provides. First, let's take a closer look at peanut butter. Now, the best way to find out what's inside this peanut butter is by reading the ingredient list. Always look for the ingredient list. Ingredients are listed from highest to lowest amounts, and in this particular peanut butter, peanuts are the only ingredient. And that's a good thing, because other peanut butters have added ingredients, such as sugar, oil, and salt, and those things we want to avoid. Now let's go into more detail about this peanut butter by looking at the nutrition facts. First, let's start off with serving size. In this case, two tablespoons is one serving size. Let's go into the WIC kitchen to see exactly what that looks like. Remember, as VG says, thank you. Always wear your apron when working in the kitchen. Follow me. So before eating or preparing anything in the kitchen, it's always best to wash your hands first. Washing your hands is so important. You don't want to spread any of those germs or bacteria that you pick up from the outside. You don't want to give that to your family. Okay, so here we have our peanut butter and some whole wheat bread. And I'm going to show you what that two tablespoons looks like. So notice, it's not a heaping spoon. Rather, it's a level spoon. You may think I'm being too picky about serving size, but if you really want to make healthy decisions for yourself and for your family, being careful about accurate serving size can make a big difference in everyone's health. So, this is what two tablespoons looks like on a piece of whole wheat bread. Yum, delicious. You add an apple and you have yourself a perfectly balanced meal. Now let's see why this information is so important to us by going back to our nutrition label. Follow me. Next on the list are calories. In that two tablespoons we just saw, thank you, there are 210 calories. So that means if you're trying to maintain or get to a healthy weight, you may not want to eat too much of this peanut butter. Now look here at this column on the right, percent daily value. Now what does that mean? Well, as it says here at the bottom of the label, it's based on a 2,000 calorie diet. And it tells you the percent of your daily nutrient needs that you'll eat in one serving of this food. Now, percent daily value can be a very helpful guide. How? Well, if it has 5% or less, then it's low in that nutrient. And if it has 20% or more, then it's high in that nutrient. So what nutrients do we want to keep low? And what nutrients do we want to keep high? Well, we want to keep saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, and sugar low. And we want to keep fiber, calcium, vitamin D, and iron high. Let's see how this information can help guide us. We see here in the peanut butter that one serving size gives you 25% of the fat you need in one day. Now that means if you have peanut butter for lunch, you may want to be careful about the fat you eat for the rest of your meals throughout the day. Now, not all fats are created equal. Polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats can be healthy for you. And look, this peanut butter has all that. Now let's take a look at dietary fiber. The label here says that one serving size of peanut butter gives you 8% of the dietary fiber for the day. Now, dietary fiber is very important for your health. It's a nutrient we want to keep high, at least at 20%. Now, usually we have peanut butter with whole wheat bread. How much fiber is in whole wheat bread? Well, the label here says that one slice gives you 8% of your dietary fiber for the day. But let's be honest, we normally eat two slices of whole wheat bread. So in reality, we're eating 16% of our fiber for the day. Add that to peanut butter, and you're getting 24%. Add an apple, and you're getting at least one-fourth of your fiber needs in one meal. That's great. I'm Robin Ng for The Wick Show. Thanks for watching.